Hey guys, it's Ellen and long time no see. Sorry I haven't been on in a while, but I thought I would bring you a book haul of all the books that I've acquired in the month of May, as well as a book unboxing, because I got a couple things in the mail and I'm really excited about everything in here, so I thought I'd show it to you guys. First, I'll show you guys the books that are not in the boxes that I have gotten throughout the month of May. The first one that I got is Crest by Marissa Meyer. I just finished Cinder uh, the beginning of this month and I absolutely loved it. I'll talk more about it in my wrap up, but I loved it so much. I actually own Scarlet already. I bought it from out Book Outlet a while ago, and so now I own Cress as well, and I'm really excited to just marathon the rest of the series um, during the summer, because I love them. I went into Barnes & Noble on the release date of this book just to pick it up, and I actually ended up getting a couple other ones. But I came in specifically for A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, and of course I've already read this one because I had to read it as soon as I got it and I love it. Again, I'll talk more about it in my wrap up, but um, yes, I picked up this one on May 5th, the day it came out and read it right away. While I was in there, I actually picked up another new release that um, I've been really excited about and that's Magonia. And this is by Maria Devana Heathley. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, but I've heard a lot of hype around this one and I think it's gonna be really cool. Of course, it's blurred by Neil Gaiman, which means that that's probably a good sign. <laughs> Um, so I'm really excited to get into this one. I think I'm probably going to read this one in June. The next book I got is a book that I've been really wanting to read, but the hardcover is really expensive, um, and so it came out on paperback, and I'm really excited. It's The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. Um, I heard this one is very, um, sad, deep, um, just sort of a difficult read, but also very rewarding. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this one. I don't know if I'm going to jump into it right away because it's not really like a summer read, um, but I am very excited to have this one. And of course, I had to stop by the bargain book section when I was in Barnes & Noble, and I saw there um, Petals on the Wind by V.C. Andrews. This is the sequel to um, Flowers in the Attic, also by V.C. Andrews. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to continue on this series. I heard that these the first two are actually the best two, um, so I won't continue past this one. But since I saw this one in the same edition that I have uh, for Flowers in the Attic, I thought that maybe um, I'd give it a try. It was under $5.00. Um, and so I thought that I'd try that one out, see if I like this one as well. Okay, now the fun part starts. We can get into these unboxings. Let's see if I can do this in one poll. Oh, yes. I think this is, yes it is. This one is, oh my God, I'm so excited. Uh, this one's More Than This by Patrick Ness. I have been wanting to read this one for so long. Um, I love Patrick Ness. I've read, I've actually only read Monster Calls by him, but I have um, the first book in the Chaos Walking trilogy, and I'm really looking forward to that. But the synopsis of this one um, really interested me. So the synopsis is very um, vague, and it sort of leaves a lot up to interpretation, which I really like. Um, and so it sounds like this main character uh, remembers dying, and then he remembers waking up in this new place, and he's not sure if it's the afterlife or where it is, um, but I really think that that sounds really cool. It's actually quite a, quite a big book. The cover is also really cool. I'm into that. Okay, this next box is another Barnes & Noble one, so let's see. I'm just gonna cut right into it. Got some coupons. That's always nice. A wine voucher, random. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up the first one that's in here. Ooh, pretty, okay. Ooh, I'm so excited for this one. Okay, so this one is another one that I really didn't want to buy the hardcover because it was a little bit expensive, but I love that the paperback has the same cover um, art because I think it's gorgeous, and that's Everything Leads to You by Needle Core. This one, a lot of people have been talking about this one and how it has LGBTQ aspects to it, and I think that's really awesome. Um, I read Every Day by David Le Levithan, and I thought that the LGBTQ aspects in that were really interesting, really well done, and so I'm very much looking forward to this one. Also, that cover, whew, that cover is gorgeous. I love it. So it sounds like this one is about a girl named Emmy, and she moves into her brother's apartment in Los Angeles, and adventures ensue, including a mysterious letter and an estate sale. So that all sounds like good fun, and can't wait for this one. This one might be a summer read for me too. We shall see. Next up is another book. Of course, I'm excited about all these books, but this one I'm really, really excited about, and it's I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. This one has gotten an incredible amount of hype. I believe it came out last summer. Um, I've never read a Jandy Nelson book before, but I think this is probably a good place to start because 
Um, it's gotten so many great reviews. So this one's about two twins that had a falling out, um, and the perspective is told in two different time frames um, at different ages. Um, and it sort of tells you what happened, why they had a falling out, and um, I hear this is extremely beautifully written, and so I'm very much looking forward to that aspect of it. Again, and, and stunning cover, just just stunning. Freaking love that. Amazing. This is actually an order from barnesandnoble.com, um, and the reason that I made the order was actually for this book here, because I saw somebody post on Instagram that they bought it, and I was like, I don't have a copy of that book, and that one looks incredible, and it's Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, which I've already read, um, but this uh, collective edition, this exclusive collector's edition in red was just really beautiful and I was so drawn to it so I had to get it and I just I love this book so so much I had borrowed it from the library when I read it and so I was a little sad not to have a copy um, but now I do and I'm so happy I think I am gonna reread this one at some point I don't know when but I just I love it so much I'm sure most of you know what this one is about but it's about a girl named Kath um, and her twin sister Wren Catherine okay <laughs> And she um, goes off to college, but she's a little bit of an introvert, and she really likes writing fan fiction, and so she does that, and it sort of helps her cope, and she meets this guy, and they, you know, the typical teen romance, but it's a lot more than that, and there's a lot of really um, poignant passages in here that really, I, I found, very relatable. And also in here, there is a sneak preview of the full version of Carry On, which is the fan fiction that Kath writes throughout the story. And I really, really, really want to read that. So I can't wait to read the excerpt. So excited. So excited. And this was extremely recently priced. It was like $13, something like that. I can't remember exactly, but it was very reasonably priced on barnesandnoble.com. So if you're interested you should check that out the last box I have here is from book outlet and I shall open that one now mm. right. I usually do this while sitting on the ground so it's a little bit weird and standing a little bit more awkward okay I right, got to throw that paper away. Okay. The first book that I have here from Book Outlet is Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I read Americana by her and I really enjoyed it. I actually had to read it for a class and so that kind of brought it down a little bit in my book because I have a hard time having to read things for class and being on a time limit. Um, but I really do think this story was beautifully written and um, came from a place of um, like experience and uh, just another perspective that I wouldn't have known. Uh, and I think that this one will do a similar thing for me. So Americana was about a woman who moved to um, America from Nigeria, and it looks like this one takes place in Nigeria. And it follows the story of Kambili, who has a very difficult home life. I think this one would be a little bit more of a heavy read, but I think that when I'm in the mood for that, this will be just the right thing. Um, I think that I will get a lot out of it, because I hear that it is um, a quite, quite a good book. This next book is the reason why I made the order on Book Outlet, because I just, I had to have a hard copy. I talked about this in, I think it was one of my wrap-ups, maybe um, April, but I got Every Day by David Levithan, and originally I listened to this on audiobook, loved it so much. I can't even tell you how amazing this book is. It, it tackles so many topics so beautifully, um, and I just, I want more. I always want more, and I so many times while I was listening to it, I just wanted to um, like mark something in the book or put a little sticky note somewhere and I couldn't, so I needed a physical copy. Well, I didn't need it, but I really wanted one. So I got this one and I'm so happy to have it. I think that I'm probably gonna lend it to a million people too. I think it's something that a lot of people would um, enjoy or even just appreciate what it is. And this is about an individual who wakes up every day in a different body and has to live that out that day as that person and try not to sort of you know interfere with their lives or mess anything up um, and everything is fine until this person falls in love and it's beautiful and it's heart-wrenching and it's just perfect it's so perfect and now I have it huh I'm so excited I got two other books in that order um, from book outlet the next book that I got is not a drop to drink and this one is by Mindy McGinnis I um, have been hearing hearing a little bit about this from the booktube community um, I think it's getting a little bit of hype at the moment and it's sort of a dystopian 
um, story where there's no longer any water to drink in the world um, or very little water to drink. And so this uh, main character has a well in their backyard and uh, they have to protect it with their life because people are fighting to get to this uh, re reservoir. This cover is really awesome. Look at her standing up there, standing her ground like a boss. And the last book that I got is Winger. Uh, this is by Andrew Smith. And so many people have been talking about this. I also can see it in the background of so many booktubers videos, like the cut, the side like that, it's very noticeable. And people have talked about how much they love this and I've never read it. So um, I actually waited for it to come out in paperback and grabbed it and I'm really excited. Does anybody else think that this looks like Neil Patrick Harris? I totally do. I totally think it does. So this is about a 14 year old named Ryan Dean who is struggling with things about being 14. It sounds like school, being on the rugby team, which I actually, from being in college and seeing rugby games, I know that they can be really brutal, bloody, crazy thing, crazy games, like mud everywhere. So maybe he's doing the same thing in this book. I'm not sure. So it says in the back there's some, he makes some major life mistakes and then the unthinkable happens. So I'm sure that something crazy will go on and he will have to deal with that tragedy or that situation and I'm really looking forward to it because people have said that it's really good and um it's interesting looking so I got it. Ooh I was just flipping through and it looks like they have like comics and stuff. Hm. I don't know if that's like a one-time thing or oh and like letters. I like that. I love when there's like images and stuff in books it just makes it so much more interesting and actually the writing is pretty spaced out and so even though this looks like a thick book i think i'll probably fly through this because it doesn't look like it's extremely dense and there's a lot of chapters which breaks it up nicely looking forward to this one okay guys so that is my may book haul um, i got some really really exciting reads that i can't wait to um, put in my tbr for the upcoming months i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always leave video requests down in the comments below and i will hope to do those ones soon um, i just got back home as you can tell so i'm hoping to do a bunch more videos in front of my bookcase here um, it's my summer now and so i'm planning on getting a bunch of videos filmed so if you have any requests to me i'd love to hear them uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!